night lots of stuff going on yesterday yes lots of stuff you were out uh, covering what was it the zoning commission workshop thingamabob yeah that would be the technical term yeah, yeah. No. thingamabob <laughs> word of the day thingamabob uh -huh. <laughs> that is an official word of the day um <clears throat> there was uh, some, some serious uh, thunder or not thunder well, I guess thunderstorm warning, but uh, flash flood warnings again last night. Yes, monsoon season. Hello, yeah. monsoon season. It happens, but yes. um, <clears throat> one of our viewers uh, was actually in one of the flash flood warning zones, and uh, it was out out here in Big Water, and uh, she was s sending pictures and stuff. She's like, "It's not raining yet." It's not raining yet, but they have this creek behind Big Water that sometimes floods really good. Yes, and we've gone out there a few times yeah. trying to catch the, the flash flood. Yeah, well, it's usually really spectacular when it does happen. Well, unfortunately, it didn't happen until actually after dark. No. But she managed to catch some video of it, so nice. I thought we would share that with you guys. Yeah, it was pretty yes. cool. Heck yes. And plus, it was really neat that one of our viewers was dedicated enough to go down after dark and video this it, thing yes. while it was flooding so that was that, that is really cool give me just a sec here and i'll i'll see if i can't pull it up i'm not sure maybe oh yeah we, i set it up for you so it's all broken now <laughs> <laughs> not my fault yeah <laughs> sure ah uh, i have nope, that's not loose it. hairs all over me again well that's not and surprising, it feels really. like i have a spider crawling across my chest Oh, oh, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Yeah, look, look, there's a spider. No, maybe there's not. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's just loose hair. You just have issues. That's what I, it is. I'm surprised I am not bald at this point. I, I really am. You know, I'll give you that. I don't know how you keep shedding and not going bald. It's just <laughs> weird. <don't> <clears throat> it's just the way I am. <laughs> I suppose it is at that. All right, so... Hmm. Does it look like I need you to move? I think you're fine. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So hopefully this comes through. Uh, she had a flashlight out there, but once again, uh, this is from one of our viewers out in Big Water. We like to give a big shout out to her. Thank you very much. Yes, and Renee says good morning. Oh, hi, uh, Renee. Good morning, Matt, Renee. <laughs> How's it going? Thank you for joining. Thank you guys yes. for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these. We appreciate it. <clears throat> all right, so this is the creek behind Big Water last night after it was dark. So she had a flashlight out there just so we could see what was going on. Oh, boy. I thought it was pretty cool. Check it out. There we go. <laughs> oh, my. That is definitely rushing. Yeah, look at that. And it didn't start doing that, obviously, till after dark. So kind of kind of cool. That is cool. It's even better, obviously, in the daylight. But uh, look at that. She was sitting down there, and uh, and she texted me, and she's like, I can hear something coming. I think it's coming. <laughs> because oh, it wasn't boy. there yet. And then she grabbed it, and apparently there was some kind of glitch with the, with the camera when she was trying to first record. She said the first one was actually a lot better. But I know how that goes with the whole technical difficulties thing. Yes, most definitely. <clears throat> it, it looks like it's done. Yeah, it is. It is. I just wanted to, um, to share that with our viewers, because yes. it was really cool. That is so, cool. Yeah. That is cool. And stuff, man. Yeah, and I'm sorry we missed it. Um, yeah, I wanted I to head out there, but you were covering the zoning meeting, and I was doing the news, and I was like, well, <laughs> still happens. What do you do? Can't really help that. Yep. We're working. Need extra people. And, and pretty much. Warm bodies. <laughs> Get down here and do the news so I can go play in the flash floods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? goodness. What? As long as y'all stay safe. Uh, well, of course. I mean, come on. Look at that. That's what you just stay away from the water. You can watch it. You don't have to play in it. That is true, but, you know, I like water. Yeah. <laughs> I like stuff. being in the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. And then we do have, let's see, I wanted to go ahead and throw this up here before, because I know we have a bunch of other stuff we wanted mm -hmm. to talk about, but uh, the Pizza Fairy sent us an update. Yes, she did. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, yeah, the Internet's being weird. It's not weird. It's a pain in my 
Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it last night. You didn't get to have fun with that last night. No, I did not. I was trying to do the live news broadcast, and the internet's like, nope. No, no, not going to do it. So we had the whole, the, this whole side over here was locking up. This stuff was locking up. I couldn't do the weather. Half of the news articles weren't working. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> oh, it's no. one of those days. Oh, no. And it ended up, it was supposed to be a short episode because I was trying to get everybody to go over and watch the zoning commission thing. But it ended up being still like 16, 17 minutes worth of news just because of all the technical difficulties. Oh, boy. That like, would be... <laughs> it, that, I, I would think that would be due to the storms. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was due to the storm, but still frustrating. Um, Don't we like got it. a we have a couple of comments that haven't <clears throat> shown up over there, but they've shown up uh, down oh, here. All right. Greg says, "Good morning, guys. Good morning, Greg. Good morning." And then Renee was responding to to the hair. Um, she says, "I hate it when my hair falls out." <laughs> yeah, her hair is constantly falling it out, is. and it's like spider webs everywhere throughout the house. It's just floating about, and you never know when one's going to be just kind of like right there in your eyeball, <laughs> or maybe in your coffee, or up your nose. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Even, how does it work? Rogue hair. <laughs> it is. It's rogue hair, and apparently, it just keeps regenerating over it does. and over because you're not bald, no, and I don't I'm know not. how. I just got a lot of it. Well, apparently, <laughs> like a mop. <clears throat> <coughs> All right. So this is the pizza fairy here. She has a little bit of an update. It's kind of a short thing. She looks like a Smurf. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> you hear that, pizza fairy? You're a Smurf. <laughs> All right, I've got it unmuted because there's some audio here. Hopefully it comes through. Hey, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. I know you can't really see me that well. I am literally in the coolest place I've ever been in my whole life. It's called the City Museum in St. Louis, Missouri. And it's basically like the world's biggest playground. Uh, I'm in a cave system right now that's freaking awesome. So thought I'd give you guys a quick update. <laughs> this place is epic. I'm going to be sending more videos and more pictures. I know it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> it sounds like she's having a good time. Yeah, she said she was going to send more videos, but it ended up being very loud in the area. So she only took pictures for the rest of it. Oh, but okay. uh, It's like this giant man-made cave system that's a giant playground where they're playing the song that probably just got us copyrighted again. Even though it's you know classical I didn't, music, I didn't hear I didn't hear what song it was. All I heard was that it was an organ, <laughs> which tells me more than likely Beethoven. Yeah, it was Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Oh, oh, so, oh yeah. okay. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> and apparently they were also playing Phantom of the Opera at one point. So yeah, oh, wow, pretty, pretty cool. Very cool. So, well, at least that, cool. according to her, unless she thought that was Phantom of the Opera, which is not as Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, just for your FYI, there. Random. <coughs> information. Random useless fact right there. That's, it. That's why I can't remember anything. It's jam full of nonsense. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just saying that's the way these things work, man. <laughs> so I know oh, um crack me up. <clears throat> let's see, I she did have some pictures. We, we maybe we'll pull them up for tomorrow. I don't have them off right off the top of my stuff mm -mm. here. Nope. So uh so yeah, you covered that meeting, I covered the news, and then there was a cool flash flood later at night. What else happened last night? You decided Lois. to watch a movie. Yes. <laughs> decided to watch a movie. And what was the name of the movie? <clears throat> you know what? I blocked it. I don't even remember. How it ends. How it ends. It's sort of... You know what? Now that I think about it, <laughs> now that I think about it, that's some foreshadowing right there. Screw you! <laughs> Not you guys talking about the movie. Ne Oy. Netflix. It was a Netflix original. A Netflix original, which you know those those can be hit or miss sometimes. Usually they're fairly decent, but you never know. Well, oh, Renee says, "Tis a dilemma for long-haired people." Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get you with a Van de Graaff generator, make it all stand up, and then we'll just pull the loose strands off. Of course, if we do that, we might just get a... No. <laughs> no way a gas mask be able to breathe. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, so, how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> Very good movie. 
very, very it good was. movie. It was, and, you know, it had Forrest Whitaker in it. Yes, and I, I like everything that he's been in that I've seen. I like most of the stuff. I, I mean, I can't you know, think that of I've a, seen that yeah. he's been in. I, I have really <clears> liked it. He, he definitely is an excellent actor. Yeah. Um, most and, of his stuff. And I it was very it. good. Yeah. It, it was. And, and it, was, it, 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 it had a great premise. It had, it had, it had good acting, decent writing. I mean. The special effects were were not bad, you know. I mean, everything was going so well, <laughs> and then so well, and then it ended. How it ends? <laughs> so I, you know, I mean, you guys may not know this about me. I have absolutely no problem with mysterious endings, plot twist endings. I mean, all kinds of endings. This movie had none of those. <laughs> it was an epic movie until the end, and then it blew it out of its ass. <laughs> Pardon the French, but it was like, what did you just do? It just ended. <laughs> <clears throat> it did. It just ended, and it wasn't like on a hey, that's a. It was actually on a very implausible like, um, what the f are you doing? Now, now, what did you say? Um, <clears throat> I I said they sort of dropped the ball. On, I, I on just the said ending. what they did. <laughs> no, on the ending. This was last night. Oh, I, um, I I I had mentioned that they had dropped the ball, and you said no. What they threw it behind? <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't drop the ball. They're like, eh, let's go that way. <laughs> what did you? <clears throat> it, it was definitely a very disappointing ending. It was horrible. It, it ruined the entire movie. Like it, I said, there's no. I have no problem. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that I've watched that other people despise, but I'm like, I see what they did there. I like that. That's nice. This one? Mm -mm. Nope. No, no, no. It you ended, suck. That's what it is. You suck. It ended like they were doing a series, and it was a season finale. Kind of, yeah. I mean, that's how it. And ended. not only that, but it was highly. I mean, well, not highly impossible. It was BS, is what it was. <laughs> You know, they had this whole thing going, and then they kind of went sideways with it, and then they went backwards, and then they fell off a cliff and exploded. It looked like a Wile E. Coyote freaking cartoon. <laughs> like, what did you just do? You ruined all of the previous work you just did. See, and, and you know, you and I were talking about it last night uh, before we, or while we were taking the <clears> dogs out. Yeah. And I had mentioned, it, it just, to me... Uh, because I know people in the industry, it seemed like they either ran out of creativity, ran out of ideas, or ran out of money. <laughs> I think all of the above. I think I, I think that's exactly. You know, it reminded me, and I mentioned this last night. It reminded me of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah. That, at the yeah. end, where it was like, you know, the whole movie is like hilariously epic. You got all this fun stuff, and at the end, it was like, huh? <laughs> all right, what but, did you just do there? But I mean, that is Monty Python, so you I kind of expect say, it, yeah, right? That that is. That is money. I, I know, but... I, I enjoy money. <coughs> I'm not saying theirs was bad. This one was freaking horrible. It, it was. It did not work with what the premise of no, the movie. No, it didn't. <laughs> like I said, I mean, they were building up to something, and they just kind of went... You know what it was? It was aromatic hydrocarbons. They oh, ignited. No, we are not going yes. there. <laughs> aromatic hydrocarbons. They ignited and blew up. <laughs> Tell you I what, man. That would have been a better ending. <laughs> it probably would have been, yeah. Um, but you know, it, it reminds me and of and you haven't finished the series, okay? But I am a very big fan of Sons of Anarchy. Oh yes, yes. And it reminds me of the series ending. Oh, well, where of it was Sons like Sons of Anarchy. It was like Yeah, I remember you telling me about which is just, why I haven't finished watching it yet. It was just like uh, you Yeah, know, you kept telling me that. And, and then we got on to something else, and that's one of the reasons I have not jumped back on, because I hate it when there's just a kind of a meh ending. It, it was, it's and like, oh. I, I understand what the creator did mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and why he did it, because it's just, it's a bunch of symbolism. But with what Sons of, Sons of Anarchy was all about, to end it like that, it was like, what? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's why I haven't jumped back on yet. Oh, Alexandra says, I hated how SOA ended. Yes! <laughs> yeah, see, and this is why I have not finished it yet. It was getting good. I'm like, yeah, this is some good stuff. And then you kept going on about how the ending sucked. And I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to watch and it then. Renee says, no, I have to watch it, meaning the movie. <laughs> the <laughs> It's great until the end. If you like, if you like apocalyptic style movies, and I do because every day I'm like, come on, come on, let's go. I'm ready. 
but yeah, um, it, it did. It reminded me of the disappointment from the SOA ending. Yeah. It, and is, oh. it, it just... But like I said, I understand why Kurt Sutter did what he did because Kurt, it's... Would you explain to everybody who the heck he's, Kurt he, Sutter is? He's the creator of SOA. Okay. You just assume um, that people know this stuff. You're like me with my weird basket of jumbled facts. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> so... So, I mean, like I said, it was full of symbolism. It actually tied into, you know, one of the main <clears throat> portions of the storyline, but it was just... <laughs> yeah, this wasn't a pill. This so was so anticlimactic. It was unreal. Yeah, well, this one was worse than... It was terrible. And, you know, <laughs> now that you bring it up, the name of the movie is How It Ends. Well, it sucks. <laughs> And so, so that means that they planned it from the beginning. No, that's no. what I'm going. They're like, we're going to make an awesome movie that ends so badly, everyone's going to freaking hate it. But you know what? They'll watch it because it looks awesome, and then it's going to suck. <laughs> I mean, is that your marketing campaign? <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, now, okay, I have a question. What <clears throat> if I remember correctly in the credits? It did it not say it was based off of a book? I have no idea. Okay. I didn't get that far because after the end of the movie, I'm like... No, I mean at the beginning. I mean at the beginning. I don't remember um, seeing that. Be, okay, maybe it was something else that, that I... And if I the book see. ended that way, I'd be just as pissed. I was going to say, if it did, if it is based off of a book, maybe we should see how the book ends. <laughs> I don't know how the book ends with a book end. <laughs> One that's going to hand grenade it. I'll tell you what, man. I... I no, no, no. <laughs> Netflix, shame on you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You got enough money that you can bug all this epic stuff and you... <laughs> <sighs> it was like one of those one of those French noir films where it's like, fine! And like, wait, it was like a quarter yeah, of the but... way through the story and it said, fine! Like, uh, uh, okay, but French noir films actually normally end with a closure not a puh. It wasn't a puh, it was a <laughs> They blow up their own movie, man. It's ridiculous. How do you blow up your own movie? It's oh, so sad. Don't challenge. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> it's probably going to be the new trend in movies. Let's make an epic movie that ends so badly everyone hates it. Uh, we. I guess it makes it memorable. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if that's so the goal. So, Alexandra right. says maybe they plan to make a sequel? No. Nope. Not, not the and if they did, ended. I wouldn't freaking watch it after that. Yeah, no. The, this ending was that bad. It was terrible. I mean, I and, and I know where she's coming from, because there are some movies where you're going, huh? Yeah, there's definitely going to be a sequel. And yeah, you can tell that they're going to do a sequel, but this one... Nope. Uh, they just went... <laughs> <laughs> That's what they did, just like that. <laughs> and Renee says 417. <laughs> huh? Uh, it's uh, probably an SOA thing. I can't remember. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I don't. I don't know that one. Sorry. Mm. So yeah, um, it, 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 oh. and and the movie itself it was great. Was really good. Yeah, I mean, I've seen better, but it wasn't bad. It was actually pretty decent, and they built it up really nicely. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there was good acting, good writing. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like spectacular, but it was pretty good. Well, I mean, for an apocalyptic, <clears throat> it was it was really good. Yeah, well, I mean, I've seen better, but it was, it was decent, yeah. You know, with the subtleties and yeah, yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, little this, little that. Right. Like, yeah. And then the ending just bleh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going, what? I wonder if they changed writers for the last ten minutes of the movie. Uh, that could be. <laughs> That could be. Um, yeah, did you ever have that when you were in school? Excuse me. So we, we had this in, what was it, an English class or creative writing or something, where you write a sentence or a paragraph. Oh, my goodness. And then you take it and you pass it to the person to your left. Yes. And everyone does that. And so you get a story that's, you know, each part of it's done by a different person in the room. That's kind of like what happened with this. <laughs> Except they wrote the first 99.9% .9 of it. And then the last 1%, the person is like, is like, yeah, everybody had that guy or that gal that was in their class that was, you know, maybe they were a stoner, maybe they were just whatever. Or not creative. <clears throat> they weren't creative at all, and they're like, man, I hate this. And they just write out, you know, like, bam, everybody dies, the end. That would be me. <laughs> so everybody had one. Apparently she was the one. I was the one. <laughs> Why is that not surprising? <laughs> I will I will uh, uh, take that title. <laughs> So yes, the one that that lacks the creativity. Oh, Renee says never mind for the four one seven. 
I'm lost. I, I, I'm, yeah. Oh. She okay, says, never mind. All right, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was that one. Because I, I just, I was never into creative writing. Yeah, I was. I, I, was, I was the one who, I liked the facts. You liked the facts. I, I liked the facts. So you could have invented something. Uh, that, Created facts. Because right. it's a made-up story. Right, which is completely contradictory. To no, because you can make up your own facts because it's your own world. What? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> See, if I ever write a book, it would not be, you know, it would be a nonfiction if, if I ever wrote a book. Yeah. Because I The statistical like anomaly of statics in your hair. Or something <laughs> That's like that. That's a research process. I <laughs> <laughs> mean, a messy hair project. <clears throat> oh. So you were the non creative person. I was. Right. I was. So you were that guy. I, I was that guy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had one of those one time when we were doing that. I mean, everybody I'm sure has had that had that same thing happen. And boy, we you know what? <laughs> I think like half the class was made up of those kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you'd get you'd, you'd you'd see the creative people as you'd read the story, and it would be building up, and then it would just flatline. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> and you have to read for. Oh. Renee says, was talking about hydrocarbons, and I applied the new zoning code. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's 417. The, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. 4.17. That, right. that one is the odors. Yeah, aromatic hydrocarbons. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what you can do with you. Never mind. We'll go into that later. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'll show you what you can do oh, with your goodness. zoning code. <clears throat> Remember, this is not the news, so it's not unbiased. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Oh. Yeah, we need to come up with something for that. <clears throat> How oh. was that meeting, by the way? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> as soon as I started watching, I was like, you know, I'm not seeing this as a good thing. Uh, yeah. It was funny because it, it started out, you know, and I was watching it. It started out, and the guy started started bumping his gums, and I'm like, all right, what's going on here? And he started going over how amazing this was and how this fixed that and how this fixed this, and there was this, and it, and it was so much better than the old one. And I was like, oh, hell no. Because what he was doing was going through all the highlights and putting all the best quote unquote things forward to show how amazing it was but what he did was leave out all the stuff that's like yeah you're screwed <laughs> <laughs> well in 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 his defense oh okay in his defense that meeting last night even though the public was being encouraged to show up was a presentation for the council yeah i didn't understand that you you mentioned that later cuz they had a flyer it said community workshop community workshop not not Right, but it was supposed to be a, originally. It was supposed to be a presentation to the council. So As he's an like update. an official smoke blower up bungholer, is what you're telling me. No, no, because, <laughs> no, just no, because no, he, smoke it up. What it, the first part of what he was talking <clears throat> about was to the council on, okay, this is wrong in the current code. Things are contradictory. It's not easily read. This is why. Oh we, yeah, and the new one is right. Uh, right, but <laughs> but and then he went into the new code saying, okay, well, we went through and did a logical progression. Uh, okay. So that I I honestly think the community workshop itself, him speaking to the community, not the council, wasn't what he had planned for. Oh, all, right. all right. So he was kind of like. No, <laughs> probably <laughs> because if you if you look back at the beginning and when he starts talking about how everything is laid out mm -hmm. and why it's laid out the way it is and comparing it to the old code, yes, that was a presentation for the council right. as to this is why you have spent X amount of time and X amount of money on this because your staff oh. is having issues with the current code. And now the new code makes it easier. Right. So that's in his defense. Right. I, I think the community workshop was an afterthought. Either way, there's just so many problems. With there that. are. I know how to fix it. <laughs> just say it. Burn the code. <laughs> Pretty much. Use that to start the fire for the aromatic hydrocarbons. Dave says he's looking forward to the unplugged commentary on that. 
Yeah. yeah. I think so. Obviously, we can't put a, you know too much out here, but right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Yeah, that, was, that was some interesting it was, stuff. It was. Yeah. It was. It definitely was. Yeah, we do have to, to do an unplugged on that because that was. Yeah, something. and it's been a bit since you've been on unplugged. It has. It has. It's it's been hectic. It and is. I do apologize for those of you that are members of Behind the Hat Unplugged. We will be doing some more of that probably today. It, yeah. I should have done it last night, but I was bouncing off the wall. Going, <laughs> <laughs> he was. I, I I wasn't here, but. From the comments he was messaging me, I, I could tell he was frothing. <laughs> yeah, a little foam. A little foam. Oh, you were there. a bug dragon. Yes, I was a bug dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for, for those of you that don't know, there is a, we do have a, a, a super secret society group. Not not really super secret. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's behind the scenes, behind the scenes, and it's called Behind the Hat Unplugged. And uh, if you guys are interested in joining, uh, just message me. It's uh, it's ten bucks a month, and uh, you get to see the stuff that's not really appropriate for the main news channel. Right, and you get to see the other side. <laughs> yes, the other. It's like, ah! yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, man. Anyway. Oh. Oh my goodness! It was one of those. Yeah, I guess I did message you some nastiness. Oh, you did, you did, and it was so hard to not laugh when I was seeing those come across on the tablet. It was like, oh, it it was. Yeah, she was sitting there in the meeting, and I'm spouting this stuff off. I could just imagine that was rather interesting. Yeah, it was. It was. If you hadn't noticed, I'm strongly opinionated. I think everybody is rather opinionated. You just are more vocal about it. Yeah. <laughs> just in the proper form. Oh. Okay. You are. You, you're you're vocal about it in the proper form. Me, on the other hand. Yeah. Sometimes we need a zipper for you. Yeah. I, I, I lack that filter. Um, Self-control, Lois. Self-control. No, it's... It, it, I, I think it come, it boils down to, you know, I've been walked on enough in my life. I'm like, guess what? Think. <laughs> no more filters. You just have to be like the rattlesnake. Wait for your time to strike, man. <laughs> and make it count. <laughs> That's all it is. Renee says, me too, Dave. <laughs> She's waiting for it, too. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I, you. I mean, th- there are there are times when I know when I know I need to sit back and think about it. But uh, there are other times where I'm like, you know, I'm not sitting back and thinking. Yeah. Like last night, it was really, really, really <laughs> hard for me to hold my tongue while he was talking about certain subjects. It's kind of hard to hold your tongue anyway because it's slippery. No, no, I have a bar in the middle of it. Oh, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It, it's sort of a, a finger stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Renee's giving you googly eyes. <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> um... You know, but, and it wasn't necessarily that I, I was having a hard time holding my tongue because of not speaking appropriately. Mm -hmm. It was, the, the consultant was trying to make sure that they, that he had enough time at the end Mm -hmm. for a Q and A session. And so Uh, he knew some of the topics were going to go Ah. in length so it was we're going to cover everything and then okay and so it was yeah that that's why it was hard for me to hold my tongue Uh, (laughs) just bad timing all right well let's go ahead and move off that topic (laughs) (laughs) that's gonna be a fun one no no Uh, uh, yeah later oh i don't know about fun i don't know if fun is the is the right word for that I, i think so i think so I've got to re- redo your little thingamajig I here. I see that. We 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 have several. Some so have entertain pictures. entertain our our uh, our yeah. viewers while I'm trying I, to pull up I your. I came stuff. across while I was uh, doing my job yesterday, looking for news and uh, making phone calls. I. Uh, you mean you actually work around here? I do. I do. I came across <laughs> some some photos and stuff uh, uh, yesterday, mm-hmm. and this would be one of them because of the bug dragon. <laughs> <laughs> You call them house flies. I call them <laughs> sky raisins. <laughs> you know, you bring that up. My, my old dog, uh, Mistra, a.k.a. Stinky, she was a sniper when it came to moths and flies, man. Oh. It was hilarious. I mean, it didn't, and she was quick. 
Man, she just snap them right out of the air. And uh, <laughs> I remember this was many, many, many years ago. There was we had this huge moth. Like invasion here in. I Page. remember you telling me about that. It was. I mean, it, you you could walk outside and it was like a just a cloud of solid moths. I mean, it was nasty. There was a lot. And uh, one of the things they used to do, you know, you catch the moth, and then and then I'd get I'd get Mister all excited and she like oh boy, and then I'd I'd throw the moth at her and she'd snap that thing right out of the air, and it was hilarious. But my brother. <laughs> My brother thought it was the nastiest thing he'd ever seen, and uh, one of the times it did it, it was a it was an extra large kind of moth. Oh no! And there was this wet, crunchy popping ah! sound. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened to him. He's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. Mister was just excited, like mm, that was a good one. Yeah, this was a Phil guy. So she was a real oh. bug dragon, man. She'd eat oh. anything. <laughs> yeah, she loved those moths. See, and Tigger and Bengal are so slow. Yeah. Uh, no. And and I think with them, with with the moths and the flies, they, they would rather play with them. Yeah, no, Mystery ate the things, man. <laughs> she was like this dog. that gets a sky racing. Yeah, she <laughs> snapped that thing right up. Boy, she was quick at it, too. So, oh. Renee, Renee says she was trying hard not to just say something inappropriate. <laughs> Pretty much. And uh, Alexandra, with your with your description, gag. <laughs> <coughs> Pretty much. She, but I couldn't help it. It was so cute and funny because she'd get so excited. Oh, my. And so she, know. you know, she'd, she'd just purposely just sit there and wait. And, man, she'd, she'd just be in on, beat in on one and... It was gone. <laughs> oh, boy. But catching them and tossing them at her, that was the fun part, man. She oh. she had all kinds of good times with that. See, now, if if uh, we still had Oreo, um, my cat Oreo, he was... Oh, was he pretty good at it? He was good. <laughs> Holy crow. And then he'd do his, you know, the kitty stalking thing. <laughs> and and he, he would start trying to talk to them. <laughs> and so you'd see... No, no. Oh. You'd see him, if you were looking at him from the side, you'd see him going... <laughs> <laughs> and he'd barely make a noise. And sometimes, sometimes a noise would come out and, and it was... <laughs> so he was like a bug whisperer. <laughs> he was. And then he'd eat him. <laughs> After he played with him for a little bit. Um, oh, but yeah, okay, he didn't play funny. with the flies. He played with the moths and the butterflies. <laughs> Well, yeah, so, that's so yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen cats do that before. The whole, the yeah. whole lower jaw just. <laughs> uh huh. That's exactly exactly what he would do. But he would do that with other things too. You, you know, um, mice and he was definitely a good mouser. <laughs> <laughs> that's and funny. he and he listened well. Did he? Um, oh, yeah, he. Um, you would think he was a dog at times. Uh, I did catch him a few times. Sitting on the windowsill, barking. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> you can't bark. He did. He did. <laughs> um, but uh, I remember when I was living down in Sierra Vista, mm -hmm. uh, I had a dog door, and he'd go out, and there was a nice, huge field out behind us, and he wouldn't go any further than the field. And I came home late one night from. Oh, work. I remember this story. <laughs> and you know, I understand the presence. That, that cats bring bring their owners. I understand they're, you know, sort of little wild animals, you know, from from way back when. <laughs> but man, he left half a field mouse in the middle of my living room and then two baby field mice in my bathtub <laughs> that were alive. Oh. <laughs> so oh, I man. put them back out and I told him, you have to leave them. Leave that alone, you know, and and then I told him you know, uh, with the half-eaten one that he had to do all of that in the bathtub. <laughs> yep, a week later, everything was in the bathtub. Oh man, that is kind of I, funny. Though. It is, mm. it is, and I mean, he was a great cat. He he really was. Um, Renee, the little parts in the bathtub. It, yeah, yeah, he listened, <laughs> and and after I told him it has to be in the bathtub. Always in the bathtub. Always in the bathtub. Put your hot tub. <laughs> it, was Even easy, it was easier to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> <Close it down. laughs> 
Oh, um, Renee says her cat did that to birds. The little jaw thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> so, yes. Um, yeah. All right. Sh should we go on to the yeah, next one? Yeah, we then? should. We should. Um, and I need the other document up, too. Thank right, you. Should, well, should I go to the next picture first? Y yes, you should. All right. Let's, uh, let's so go ahead and... I, I got on to an Australia trip yesterday. <laughs> now... I don't know if these are truly from Australia. However, if they are, y'all have issues with Krakens. Yep. <laughs> that's that's what that sign says to me. Y'all yep. got Krakens down there. <laughs> Release the Kraken! <laughs> I mean, in the Great Barrier Reef, you have, what, great white sharks and Krakens. <laughs> I mean, it could be a Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it could be. <laughs> Saying. So yeah, uh huh. <laughs> I came across that and I went, oh heck no. <laughs> Maybe an octopus. I, I more than likely what the reality is is it's a jellyfish. That's some big tentacles for a jellyfish. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is more well, like a kraken well, at that point. They they do have itty bitty jellyfish that are extremely poisonous that you can barely see. Mm. Um, so and they do have long tentacles. But, uh, yeah, I saw that, and I went, it's a Kraken. <laughs> a Kraken. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <clears throat> Did you pull anything up on um, it, or is that... Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. um, let's see. Alexandra says, oh. the outside cat that adopted us leaves dead mice on the doormat. Well, there you go. And Renee says she found stuff in her shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, that's got to suck. You imagine it. I'm putting my shoe on. Ew, a mouse head. Oh, <laughs> or something. Like, what? Ah! <laughs> you now, I I uh, I don't know which I'd rather deal with a, a mouse head in my shoe or fur ball because <laughs> especially right after they've done it yeah the hair ball uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they usually only do that when they're you know when you're sleeping so uh, yeah you hear it coming you're like oh man where is that gonna be in the morning <laughs> <laughs> where is that gonna be in the morning am I gonna step in it and yeah. it's in your shoe. <laughs> So yes, so, you are. So we are talking about pets, and this came up under um, Australia. Is that? Oh my goodness! This came under Australia yesterday, and I'm just wondering, really? <laughs> I mean, seriously, the thing—if you look close enough, the thing has a harness. Yeah, I see that. I see that. It, that so that is somebody's pet. <clears throat> and if it's Australia, that would be a crocodile. Right, but it just. <laughs> it's like owning a great white. You go to oh, feed yeah. it and it can snap your freaking hand. That's Aww. it, man. Like, oh, Lenny's so cute. Ah! <laughs> my fingers are gone. Just, my arm's yeah. gone. My head's gone. I mean, just pick it up. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> One's a little snap. <laughs> that thing has teeth mm -hmm. and a very high PSI jaw chomp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, snap you in half, man. Yeah. yeah. And I just. Mm -mm. No. So it's it, what we're calling this. This is the extreme pet edition of the morning <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, oh, so Renee says Squidward for the the last oh, yeah, sign. Squidward. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And also, birds were her cat's uh, food of choice. Yeah, so you don't get hair balls, you get feather balls. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hey, you know what? That could be a viable business thing because you could probably make a feather duster out of the uh, feather ball. Uh, you. That's, what? It, that's just gross. <laughs> Extreme penitent. <laughs> oh, no. Stalkers oh. of the night. <laughs> so, so, scroll down. Oh, you've got more of these I things. I have more. This one's another street sign. So you're talking <laughs> extreme pet edition. Well, apparently in Australia, the kangaroo are trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait. See, this is what it is. It's it, Looney Tune cartoons are real in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I don't know if it's coming through or not, but there's falling rocks and a jumping kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so... Let's see. Um, Alexandra said, uh, "says my dad had two pet jaguars in the '80s." Well, there you go. She has Extreme a picture. Pets. It, yeah, and she has a picture somewhere. Renee says, "Pet croc can get kind of prickly at times," <laughs> <laughs> and I would say more snappy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, and Dave says, I want to own a great white with a sad face. And if you have a great <laughs> if you have a great white with that has a sad face, don't forget to put a laser beam on his head. Oh yes. You gotta have the laser beam, man. <laughs> Need sharks with laser beams. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes. Uh, um, apparently, the kangaroos uh, try to kill you with rock slides. <laughs> well, that, or they're suicidal kangaroos, or they're trying to escape from the rocks. I mean, there's a lot of different. Uh, things yeah, I can but see going I, on here. this picture, it looks like the kangaroo started the rock slide. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> And then <laughs> this one I know for a fact is is uh, from Australia. Um, I, I I can't remember his name, but these are our modern day version of dodos. Isn't that a wallaby? No, that is not a wallaby. It's a. Oh. I have it up on the other. Um, oh, is it on the uh, other on one? the other document? Um, these guys are so cute. It's a kuoka. Uh, oh, okay. Or Quoka. Quoka, I'm going with probably. Q U O K K A. I don't know who knows. <laughs> but <laughs> they are they are known as the happiest creatures in the world. <laughs> well, I can see that. <laughs> He's cute. And this is this is from a, a gentleman who was um, uh, bicycling through through Australia, and he came across one of these, and he was wearing a GoPro. <laughs> So I mean, is the thing attacking him getting ready to rip his face off, or no, is it happy to see it's him? It's happy to see him. Oh, okay. and, and the thing is, is these guys are are um, on the endangered species list, and uh -oh. this is why I said they're they're our modern day dodo. Oh, they are okay. very trusting of humans. Oh, poor little guy. Um, don't but, trust but, humans. That's dumb. <laughs> no, but they don't know that. But they are so cute I and so they, happy. And Extreme Pet Edition, I would not mind owning one of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when they're that happy. They're, he's like, hi! <laughs> like, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> yeah. And every picture that you see <clears throat> of them around humans, they have this huge smile on their face. And they're so, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just lovable. Uh, pretty much. <sighs> but they're yeah. dumb. Uh, yeah, um, but they don't realize it. I know. Uh, but, yeah. Well, that's, it's kind of a sad dumb. <laughs> it, it is, it oh, is. Oh, it's so cute. They're all going to die now. Because yeah. they trust humans. Bad, bad, whatever um, your thing is. Let's see. Dave says that has to be the Aussie version of Rupert. <laughs> and then Renee says Wiley Coyote kangaroo style. Yep. <laughs> I, that's what I said. Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not Looney Tunes, but whatever. You know what I mean. <clears throat> what? It is Looney Tunes. Is it Looney Tunes? Yeah, it is Looney Tunes. Tunes. It was Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. I, I love I love my Wiley Coyote. Yes. You know, Wiley Coyote is my personal hero, right? Yes, I do. Because he is me. I identify as Wiley Coyote. <laughs> Just saying. I do. Super genius. Oh, Wiley e. Coyote. You realize he only spoke twice. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. No, I, I do because, you know, I have I have all of these grand schemes and plans and they always blow up in my face or I fall off a of cliff, you know. <laughs> But somehow I don't die. It just keeps going, and I keep coming up with it. I mean, here we are. So, are you saying <laughs> is what you are? Are you saying that your great ideas and stuff are your roadrunner? Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> or trying to catch the roadrunner. I don't know if it's like Don Quixote tilting at windmills. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, it's you know I am Wiley Coyote, and um, yeah, that roadrunner boy. That's elusive. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, if we if we ever end up going down to Australia, I may be um, smuggling one of these crazy <laughs> little creatures. You know, they probably them. screen for that at the airport so well, you can't get probably. back. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be right back while you're scrolling to the next one there. Uh, no, the next one is not an Australia Extreme Pet Edition. Oh, okay. uh, but I have to get out of... Uh, where did you put this stuff? <laughs> oh, he's laughing at me now. Okay, I have to... How? Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, so, okay, we are talking extreme pets. What do I have on here that are extreme pets? Uh, nothing much else. And, but... Ah, uh, I am having issues. 
the fact that I have a coffee cup and trying to transition and I disappeared off screen. Oh, look at you go. Um, You're just having all kinds of fun so today. So Renee says, Acme Super Duper Foot Rockets. And Renee says, boom. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, so, okay, um, there is real no good segue between Extreme Pet Edition right. and, uh, and, and this topic. Um, but uh, for those of you who wanted to be ninjas... <laughs> Apparently, Japan has a ninja shortage. Yes, <laughs> that's the headline here. It says Japan's ninja right, shortage. Right. Let's scroll down a bit. <laughs> All I, right. I, I should have. What I did you break over here? I'm gonna... I, I didn't break anything. Um, and if you, uh, Iga, 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 Iga is the name of a small Japanese yes. city and the birthplace of the ninja. It's facing a serious problem. There aren't enough people training to be ninjas. Not even for eighty-five thousand dollars a year. Yeah. So if you, you if you if you want me. if you want to be a ninja, mm -hmm. you can go to this town in, in Japan. Okay. And get paid eighty-five thousand dollars a year to be a ninja. I'm moving. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so how are you gonna get their boat? I freaking swim. <laughs> Since you don't fly. fly, that's my ninja training right there. <laughs> Now, one of the things I want to see from uh, the Mediterranean or, or um, wherever they originated is uh, this for pirates. Oh. Old school. Old school pirates. Yeah. Get some fuses and stick it in your beard. Light them. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Don't want to see the old school pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Arr, rotted teeth. Missing body parts. Scurvy. Arr. Renee says it's actually pronounced Iga. We said Iga, yeah. Iga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. But a ninja short. You know, that's, I find that interesting. You need to get your chair off of the background there. Right, time. but you always. <laughs> <laughs> you always want me far back. Well, far back is fine. I just said don't mess with the thing. Don't mess with it. Anyway. Oi. So the interesting thing about uh, about ninja stuff. So this is something I know from my childhood. Actually, um, it was actually in the United States. It's actually well, I don't know if it still is, but at one point it was actually illegal to teach ninjutsu uh, in the United States, uh, which is the, one of the martial art forms that they practice. And then on top of that, trying to find an actual ninjutsu master that would teach someone that wasn't a member of his family, or you know, it, th there was a huge thing with that. And so, you you just couldn't do it. And then there was a guy, <laughs> one of my favorite movies. You could, I know that the movie the movie is cheesy and horrible and and not very historically accurate, but close enough. There was a guy named Frank Dukes that uh, that was actually uh, one of the first people to get trained in ninjutsu, and he actually became basically a ninja and was able to do all kinds of cool stuff and then he founded his own martial arts school called Duke's Ryu and it was it, anyway, the movie was called um do, do you remember was it kung fu uh, no that's kung fu not an intention <laughs> what the say what ah! it's called blood sport it's got jean claude van damme in it really yeah I, oh come my. on i've never seen blood sport oh, no! You know what we're doing tonight? <laughs> oh heck no! Oh yeah! Oh no! That movie's awesome. I have to study for a finance exam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you gotta see Van Damme breaking some bricks. It's oh. awesome! <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's a fun movie. It really oh, is. Oh boy! <clears throat> but anyway, it's yes. you know it's based off of the true story of Frank Dukes who went through the whole thing and then they found a Dukes Ryu and now, then it was really popular. And was he the? One of the first people to be taught it, or one of the first Americans? Um, I believe was he American or French or uh, non? Well, yeah, he was basically not yeah not non Japanese. Uh, he was he was the first foreigner that that they were you know taught, and then he formed his own school that was then allowed to this. And, okay, but he broke all kinds of world records back in the day. You know, like fastest roundhouse kicks, and I mean, wow. he was he was incredible, and he did all kinds of exhibitionist stuff. And so anyway, interesting story, but Bloodsport. Van Damme, you should watch it. It's cheesy. I love it. It's great. It's yeah. one of them '80s movies that makes you get going. They've got montages and everything. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh no. Aww. All right. What else so you we're got over there? Off the ninja right. thing here. 
<coughs> Excuse me. What am I going on here, Lois? Oh, you're closing this. Oh, okay. All right. I'm like, you're just like coughing and staring at the monitor. I don't know okay. what you're doing. <laughs> Right. Yep, that, that one. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So you need to scroll down on um, on the photos because this has to do. Oh, with this the has to do one. with the next yes, photo. Because I did not know what this was. What the this year? No, what what they were talking about in the article, and you may need to extend it out a bit. I'm working on it. Um. So this this goes along with you see what you want to see. Okay. Okay. Uh, in anything, you can see what you want to see. I can barely see that on my monitor, no, and I, I have. <laughs> okay, I need you definitely to pull that up. Okay. Um. So this is the Bayou what? or Bayou Tapestry. Okay. And it's two hundred and thirty feet long. It looks more like it's, about six inches. Right. <laughs> it's one point. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> one point six feet tall. Nine panels in um, what? it's nine panels of linen cloth. So this is just one panel of it. Okay, all right. So the reason I'm bringing this up is there is a professor that has counted at least so far. You're not allowed 90, to get con content for the morning. <laughs> Ninety three male genitalia throughout the tapestry. 93 willies. Yes. Wankers, if you will. Right. So. He's counted that many. This guy has like an obsession. And that's why I did the six inch joke. Uh, yeah, I know. But anyway. Um, but it's, it's one of those, you see what you want to see. <laughs> Seriously. So the guy um, actually went through and, and he thought he counted 93 wankers. Huh? He, yes. Yes. Did and he, this is this is a tapestry from, they believe, to be the 11th century. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, mankind never changes. I mean, <laughs> they've got uh, old cave paintings where they've got willies as well. <laughs> yeah, and it, the, the headline just cracked me up because this is an Oxford professor. And I'm going, wait a minute here. <laughs> so I didn't look really close. Do you see that many in there? I, I, I in all honesty, it's I did too blurry, look. I can't tell. In all honesty, I did look. Did, did and you I couldn't any? see any. <laughs> I guess it depends on your phallic symbol of choice whether <laughs> it is a willy or not. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I had to. I had never heard of the tapestry, okay, and okay. and I was going, okay, well, I know a lot of Grecian stuff. Um. A lot of Grecian stuff has has things of that ancient Greece and I, I know and what Grecian means. Thank um, you very much. <laughs> and and so I was thinking, well, maybe. Oh, yeah. And then I pulled this up, and I'm going, no. no. <laughs> um, Renee says not a fan of Van Damme. She prefers prefers Seagal. Um, I like a couple of Seagal's movies, and his martial arts are slightly more realistic. We'll go with that. He is, you know, he actually is a martial artist, but uh, you know. I like I like my Van Damme. Ooh. And I, I do like Seagal. You know what? It's just it's it's those eighties style movies that I really like. It's the cheese. It is. It I is like my cheese. cheese, man. So we're going Chuck to Chuck Norris, Delta Force. You're talking Lone Wolf McQuay. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry, we went off on a tangent. It's your fault. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Carrie is waving hello. Hello. Oh, hi, thanks for joining us. And uh Renee saying about this, um, no words. <laughs> no words, yes. So we since, really we're, since we're talking about <laughs> cheese, okay. No, let's not talk about that in Wankers at the no, same time. That's this just has not right. nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh, should I translate? Uh, yes, okay. you do. <laughs> yes, you you need to. Right. Um so today apparently is the twenty fifth anniversary of the release of Jurassic Park. What how many years? Twenty five. <laughs> oh man! Sorry, but I just made oh. us feel old too. Oh. Um, for for those who now feel old. Twenty-five years ago. Uh, yes. However, <laughs> there is there. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> do you mind? <laughs> Um, there is a UK streaming service. Is it heavy? Called oh my. Then it's expensive. Put it down. Called <laughs> Now TV that is paying homage to Jurassic Park. Okay. Well, and what they have done is they have decided to commission or build a 
<clears throat> Come on, Lois, let's go. Spit it out. I'm, I'm trying to think. Okay, so is it a giant T Rex or what? Uh, no. Okay, what? They have decided to build the film's most memed moment. Uh, which one? Is it the is it the T Rex? Uh, no, it's what? not the T Rex. Go to the photo. Go to go to. Uh, oh, you already have it. Yes, I do. Oh, oh my picture. <laughs> That is hilarious. So, remember, this is a homage to Jurassic Park's 25th anniversary. Or that of, is of, hilarious. Uh, release. And this is, so that, is that really the most memed moment? Yes, it is. Are you serious? Yes. That is hilarious. I need you to go to the last, the, uh-huh. This is why I should drive when I put these You don't know together. how to operate the basics, <laughs> let alone the advanced capabilities here. Okay. So. <laughs> <clears throat> so apparently uh, everybody likes a little gold bloom. Uh, apparently. I like me some gold bloom too, although that picture I find slightly disturbing. Uh, it, it just is a bit. <laughs> you are completely out of frame there, just I, so you know. Hi! <laughs> I'm still here. So I, I forgot to write down where it is. This is actually in front of Tower Bridge in London. <laughs> Wait, is that a statue? It is. Oh my god, I thought it was a picture. Nope. <laughs> That's why I was trying to figure out how to word it. Because the a word. A giant statue of sexy no, Jeff Goldblum. The word Erect a statue did not work well. well like, that went with, with your. I was going to say you're talking about wankers. Now you're talking about erecting a statue. I mean, right? Oh, you so, have just derailed everything today, Lois. Where did I you have, go? I have. Look That's at you my go. Job. Woo! <coughs> so yeah, this is a 25 foot statue. In 25 front. foot statue. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> in front of the Tower Bridge in London. Wow. As, is it permanent? I um, don't know. Or are they going to like put it on a traveling display? <laughs> they may. They may. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is their their homage. The to mighty the, gold bloom. Uh, yep. <laughs> I love Jeff Goldblum. He cracks me in up. In the most memed uh, thing from the movie, and well, this, this ends up being it. So That's yeah, funny. happy anniversary to uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, no, oh no, really? Oh goodness! <laughs> now a T Rex and a T Rex or a Velociraptor, I think, would have been um, more expected. Yeah, which is why but, they went with the gold bloom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, I think on that amazing uh, statue of uh, Mr. Goldblum <laughs> that they have erected in uh, oh, front of the goodness. London Bridge. <laughs> um, oh, what, 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 oh, 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 what, what do you oh. have over there, Lois? Renee says, really? Um, no, it's just not right. <laughs> Unplugged episode in the offing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to know, man. So anyway, on that amazing note, I think we're going to call it a day. Yes. Uh, thank you guys very much for joining us for this interesting episode of the Morning Cup. Thank you, Lois. Hey, I, I, I just ended up going down rabbit holes. I, I, apparently, I really that's what it was. <laughs> oh, anyway, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing. And uh, we'll see you later today. Yeah, Who's ready good. for some Rupert? I am. <laughs> Where's the Rupert? In the list somewhere. <laughs>